So it is our great pleasure to welcome Lauren Chamberlain to inspire all of us today. Okay, anybody else crying? Like, I was just sobbing right there, so there's probably makeup everywhere, but hi everyone, like, um, I'm Lauren Chamberlain, and thank you for having me, and thank you for the introduction, that's very sweet, and I liked your choice of words, even though, you know, I, I did like the choice of words. <laughs> um, so you guys got my career highlights, um, I, I kind of want to take it back a little bit farther to high school time, and, and really a consistent theme in my life, and really the life of a female, let's just be honest, is you couldn't possibly, right? That quote, I just, I hear that a lot, I've heard that a lot, I'm sure a lot of women in this room have heard that a lot, you couldn't possibly blank, right? So as a freshman coming in sports-wise, you couldn't possibly take that senior third baseman spot, you couldn't possibly, okay? You couldn't possibly, be living in Orange County, California and love your body type, okay? You couldn't possibly make the USA team, okay? You couldn't possibly get hurt, have a back injury, miss 23 games your junior season, and then come back and break the home run record, okay? You couldn't possibly get drafted number one. You couldn't possibly become a professional softball player. You couldn't possibly make a career of it. Right? How many of you in this room have heard, you couldn't possibly blank, you couldn't possibly take that man's job, you couldn't possibly get a higher salary, you couldn't possibly, for me, negotiate, be one of the first to negotiate a contract in the NPF League because I don't think I'm getting enough money for what I deserve. You couldn't possibly, right? I'm just going to keep saying that. So my response to that, and I've adapted this kind of lifestyle and this mindset, and a lot of that was attributed to sports, what I could accomplish on the field taught me no, 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 I most certainly can. I most certainly can, that became my mantra. I'm, I most certainly can and I dare you to try to stop me. So I go and I speak to different middle schools and I talk and I love speaking events and thank you uh, to Fields and Futures for having me reach out to the teams and talk to them and inspire them. But I started seeing a common theme and there were different you couldn't possibly, right? There were different, a different set of issues that these young females were facing. You couldn't possibly you know, accomplish this given your financial situation. You couldn't possibly break the chain of family issues. You couldn't possibly, uh, you know, participate in sport. You couldn't possibly take pride in something. You couldn't possibly do these things. And I'm like getting emotional right now. <laughs> Sorry. You couldn't possibly have somebody care enough about you to take their time and build a field. You couldn't possibly care enough about yourself to know that you're worth it and that you can do anything you can accomplish. You can do anything you want to. And I've seen so many girls and I read those cards and it's, it's not me saying it anymore, it's those young girls saying, no, I most certainly can. I most certainly can. And I'm so proud of an organization like this and to be a part of this and it's just so organic and it's so true and we sat and had lunch and I was emotional there. I'm an emotional person, okay? Like, <laughs> I'm emotional. This is just, it's an amazing thing and so thank you to Fields and Futures, everybody in this room that supports and uh, we just need to, the world's kind of catching on, you know, that, that women most certainly can. So thank you guys very much for having me.